My ex is still talking to me, but don't want to come back. Hello team, hello Love Advice TV. I'm so happy to be here today with you because I want to share with you what to do when your ex is still talking to you, but don't want to come back. I received an email from Sarah yesterday. She said, Alex, I cannot understand my ex. I follow your advice. I did a no contact. I sent the accountability letter. My ex said that he cried reading this letter but also that it doesn't want to come back. This situation is not just for women. It can happen also to men. And I'm doing this live because I want you to understand that most of the time, we cannot listen your ex. You cannot listen your ex words because the solution is not there. It's like thinking that you can ask a woman or a man, what should I do to attract you? They will never respond. Maybe they don't know also. So something that is really important when you want to get back with someone you love is I will try to explain to you, it's setting the tempo. The tempo is coming from the music, you know. We have like, we need, when we want to get back with someone, to set the pass, the pass. We need to make sure that we have the control. And when we do an action, your ex is responding to this action. I know it's not easy because most of the time you will try to understand his behavior or her behavior, you will try to listen his or her words. You want to make sure that they are still loving you. But these are big mistakes that you're doing. And I want you to stop these mistakes by thinking, I need to set the tempo. So if you're telling me, Alex, my ex is talking to me. My ex is asking me what, should I, what I did last weekend, or is asking me a lot of questions, but he or she doesn't want to come back. What should I do? Hello, Lisa. Hello, Jacobs. Hello, Arun. I hope you are doing good. Thank you so much for being on this live. Don't forget to give me a like and also to subscribe to Love Advice TV. So basically, when your ex is still talking to you, it's because they don't want to lose you. But there is a big difference, a huge difference between I don't want to lose you and I want to come back with you. When an ex doesn't want to lose you, that doesn't mean they still love you or they want to be in a relationship. Most of the time, that means they still want to get the control of you. I know it's not something that you want to hear because you love your ex. You really want to build a strong and steady relationship. But I'm here today because I want you to understand that sometimes there is what we call the balance of power. If your ex wants to owe you, you should never let him or her doing it because then you will change the situation. You will reverse the breakup situation and you will be able to build a new relationship. You will be able to reattract your ex. So when your ex is still talking to you, but at the same time, they don't want to be in a relationship with you, you should change your habits. You should change your communication, change your attitude, change the way you talk to your ex, change your life to make sure that you will be able to reattract and create some seduction. This is something really important. Hello, Sada from Dubai. Yeah, tell me on the chat on the white. Joseph is telling me, hello, Alex from Colorado. I want to know where do you live and also how long were your relationship because then I can give you some advice. Jay is following me from Canada. Hello, Jay. You guys hide their feelings. So what to do when the ex is hiding his feelings or her feelings? You need to understand that people don't hide their feelings. They are just in control of this situation. So an ex will make the decision to come back definitely in your relationship when they don't have any other options. This is why you need to make sure that your ex needs to see you as the only one option to be happy in his or her life. It's something really important. There is Wonder from Bowen. Hello, Wonder. From India for Abbey. From England, from Martin, I'm so happy. You know, this community is amazing. We have built a community from all over the world to people that want to fight for a real relationship, for having love in their life, but also becoming the better version of themselves, right? So you need to understand that we received the education from Walt Disney, from Hollywood, that love is universal, love is easy, love is simple, and love is natural. But in reality, we have to learn how to be a good partner. And this is why I'm here today, because I want to teach you how to use 
the balance of power and make your ex come back to you. So in the chat on the right, I'm just sending you the list, the page, sorry, the link to the coaching page where you can have Coach Abby, Coach Edwin, Coach Natalie and myself. We are here for you. We are dedicated to help you understand your ex behavior. Because sometimes you're listening to their words, you're looking at their actions, but you forgot. You forgot that everything is about balance of power and making your ex just visualize that you're the best person for them. And this is why I'm here for you. Okay? So can you, you can ask me your question. I will take the time to respond. Jessica, I coach Alex. Greetings from Los Angeles, California. It's been nine months since my separation with the father of my children. It's hot and cold. And in all honesty, I'm losing hope. Any advice? Jessica, this is exactly this life is for you. If I would be in this position, I would do the same. I would be hot and cold because I want to keep you aside. I want to do my life and having the mother of my children aside. This is how human will think. I want what we call in French, we said the butter and the money of the butter. Here you said the Coke and the French fries. You want both. So you need to understand that hope is killing your chances to get him back. If you really want your ex to come back, you need to make your life better than his life. If he can feel that you're sexy, you're like a seductress woman, you're happy, you're doing new activities, your children love you more and more and more. You travel. You have new friends. You learn salsa. Then if he will feel scared, scared to lose you. If in your mind you stay in a, okay, how can I save the relationship? How can I save the family? You will give him the power to keep you aside and to do whatever he wants. And this is not what you want. So please, Jessica, reply on the chat and tell me that from now, from now, so far, you will really realize that you can make him come back to you by having the best life, okay? Can you just promise me this in the chat below on the right? Thank you. Cindy, at first he said that he's breaking up not because of me, but because of him. And two weeks later he says, when I said I saw a future with you, it wasn't totally true. Four years relationship. Cindy, let me ask you a question. Most of the time when people will say, okay, I break up, it's not your fault, it's my fault. It's because you are emotionally dependent. They cannot see a future with someone that is too needy. So I want to know if you were emotionally dependent, if you were giving him too much attention, and if you forgot about your life, maybe your friends, your projects, your dreams, your professional life. Jessica said, I promise, thank you for your advice. Jess, I'm with you. So if you want to book a coaching session, it's on the right chat. Just book a coaching session in just 30 minutes. It can change your life, guys. It can change definitely your life. Abdel, hey coach, can you tell me how to get my ex back after I broke up with her? She's waiting for my apologies, but I'm not able to get my ego down to initiate. So if you are not able to let your ego down, what you can do is just to do a letter. Why? Because in this letter, you can explain why did you break up? If you can explain the why and what you were looking for, sometimes we broke up with someone because we want them to be more involved, but we are not able to communicate with them. This is why the letter is really important. Okay? So I will encourage you to do a letter and to make sure that you will realize the why. There is always reasons to break up. Even when you decide, there is always some reason to break up. Fernando, Alex, how is it going? So what should I do when she was just someone but still asked me questions such as, would you have liked if I had made another choice? Okay, Fernando, this is exactly what I'm talking. She is trying to keep you aside. She wants to enjoy your life. She wants to feel attractive and attracted and she wants to have a special relationship. In order to do that, you should not save the relationship. You need to restart from scratch. What do I mean exactly? When your ex is having someone else and saying, do you think that, were you waiting for me to do another choice or to come back? Or did you think that we can have done better? You should say, yes. I just realized that all my life needs to do better. This is called the principle, the principle of principle, I don't know the word in English, of generalization. If you can generalize the way you have changed, showing that, yeah, I have changed, but not just in my relationship. 
I'm eating better. I'm going to the gym. I'm taking care of my health. I'm changing my job. I want to travel the world. All of these things are really important. So if you can show that you're just having the best life ever and you can talk to her and say, hey, let's do this new activity. She will fall in love again because of these new activities, not because of the past, because of these new activities. Okay? So please, you need to understand that today you have a real mission to reattract your ex, to make your life better, to stop being codependent, and to promise me, and I want to see your promise on the chat, never listen, never listen your ex words. That was the case for Cindy telling me, Alex, he said that he didn't see a future with me, but he told me before that I was the, the woman of his life. Yes, never listen to his words. Understand that we want him to chase you. We want her to chase you. We want to recreate something special with new activities. Okay? Fernando said, promise, man, thanks. I'm with you, Fernando. Take care of yourself. So, this was the live today. The live today was about what should I do to regain the control and to regain the power. I know you don't like this word, power, but you need to understand that everything is based on letting your ex realize how amazing you are, okay? So I want you to come on our website with myexagain.com. First, you have tons of articles. Second, you can book a private coaching session with me, with Coach Edwin, Coach Natalie, Coach Abby. We are here for you, okay, guys? So please, Leave a comment, give me a like, and tell me what do you want to do next week with me. Next Monday, I will see you for a new live. I love you guys. Take care of yourself. And don't forget to keep fighting the good fight, as always Coach Adrian will say. Take care of yourself. Bye-bye, guys.